Liberals often say that their legacy is the legacy of civil rights, women's rights, workers' rights, voting rights, etc. And the legacy of conservatism is everything against that. Especially they like to mention like the 1960s about how LBJ, how he was part of the Democratic Party, and this is when all the the, Rep the Republicans became racist and all the, yeah, the it's, racist it's and Democratic. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you respond to this? Okay. So the idea. So this is a very famous kind of leftist nostrum, which is the idea that the parties flipped places in the 1960s. The only problem is there's no evidence for this whatsoever. So the South continued to con the, the South continued to elect Democrat. There, there's the only Democrat who became a Republican from the the anti from the, sort of the racist side of the aisle was Strom Thurmond. All the other racists stayed in the Democratic Party, and it's only now that you're beginning to actually see Republican governors of states like Mississippi and Alabama. For a very long, I mean, George Wallace in 1968 ran. He was a member of the Democratic Party. Right? It was Democrats who were standing. And, uh, and barring schoolhouses. Orville Falbus was a Democrat. It was Democrats in the South who were barring the entry into the schoolhouses. As a, as a proportion of the, of the voting base, more Republicans than Democrats voted for the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Uh, the, the idea that Republicans suddenly just went racist and Democrats suddenly went non-racist, uh, it, it just, there, there's no evidence to suggest this. Dinesh D'Souza has a movie out where he actually discusses this in detail. Um, but it's, it's one of these things that Democrats try to do to escape their own responsibility in Jim Crow. Jim Crow is an entirely democratic proposition. Slavery was an entirely democratic proposition, right? The Republican Party was founded in opposition to slavery. The Republican Party f fought against Jim Crow. Uh, the, the idea that, that all of a sudden, the, the real reason that the South started to vote Republican uh, has far less to do uh, with, with racial questions than it has to do with, with social questions. The, 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 the Equal Rights Amendment was one. Uh, the, crime, the crime wave that sort of struck in the 1970s was another. But the entire country turned Republican, too. I mean, by, by 1984, Ronald Reagan won ex, ex, every state except Minnesota. So, uh, so the notion that, that it was only happening in the South is, is just not true. Uh, the South, there, there are a lot of reasons that the South has, has been more friendly to Republican Party politics. But the idea that they switch places on racism, there's not a lot of evidence to support that. Uh,